I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. I'm here today with General B.A. and Batman, also Dave and Andrew Harwood, and Omni the Wonder Dog. Hi, you having fun? Okay. Today, gentlemen, we're going to do ground rods. So the idea is we've got the high voltage lab, we've got all the big power coming in. They're, they're working, the contractors are setting the concrete for all that. Our job today is to build the safety system. Now, we put the cage in last week. This week we need to build the whole ground network and tie it to the cage and tie it to the, the, the lug boxes and all that jazz. It's a whole network of stuff. So we're gonna start by driving ground rods. This is the beginning of it all. So we've got these, which we got at our local electrical supply place. Now it's a standard 5 8 inch ground rod. It's got a pointy end, it's got a round end, and they come in two flavors. You can get them in copper and you can get them in uh, galvanized. All they had was galvanized. I wanted copper really, really bad, but this is what I'm stuck with. So we're going to use these. We're going to put them three foot off the corner, 10 foot along each wall, and if we have a couple extra, that's okay. We're gonna go down that wall, this wall, and the other wall, which gives us three walls of the high voltage lab because the interior wall is uh, um, connects to the rest of the building. We can't put rods there. Um, a lot of people have written in asking, where are we going to put the rods? How are we going to get them through the pool? Well, we're not going to put them through the pool. We're going to run cables through the wall and have the rods outside because if we, we could drill through the floor inside and go all the way down through the pool and that, but if we did that, it's totally sheltered by the building and it never rains on it, it never gets wet, and it's a really bad ground. It's not safe to do an internal ground like that. So we're doing them outside where they get rain and all kinds of happy stuff. With the, the salt from the snow off the streets and everything, it really, it's, it's a great grounding system out here. And this is the standard for the NEC all over America. The way we're doing it dramatically exceeds what the NEC would call for. For our whole building, the actual main electrical system only has one ground rod. And with our old three-phase setup, they didn't even have an internal ground connection to it. They're the only wires that come into the building are the three hots. There is no neutral or ground. Um, that's getting changed with the new electrical <laughs> upgrades. So this is all just for the high voltage lab. We're starting with a dozen ground rods and we'll take you through the whole process of driving them and all that jazz. Now when you're doing this at home, you'll probably use either a hammer, like a sledgehammer or a slide hammer, and we'll get a look at those. In fact, we're gonna do some comparisons. Today we had um, a favor for us from our friends at the local Hilti outlet. They loaned us a big, gnarly Hilti TE76P, and we bought the bit for it. This is, you can buy specific bits for a Hilti hammer that are four driving ground rods in all different sizes. This is a 5 8 inch ground rod driving bit, and you just slip it right over the top, hammer it in, and this is the way you want to do it. You're about to see why. Because while I'm going to drive a rod with this, Batman's going to try one with the sledgehammer. Yes. Actually, you can try one with a little sledgehammer, like a little handheld sledgehammer. You can try one with the slide hammer, and we'll just show the differences. Okay, we've got three rods that we're going to have right here. So you can take that one, and you can take that one, and I'll take the one on the end. Okay? It'll be fun! It's, it's science, man! <laughs> All right, you gentlemen go grab the other hammers. Find a, a, a you know, what, you can pick any hammer you want. Any hammer you want. Now, you are by far the biggest, burliest guy here, so this is, you know, somewhat fair. <laughs> you go grab your hammer, you go grab the Joe slide hammer, and I'll meet you gentlemen back here in a minute. All right, so Dave, come on in here. We're gonna get started with you. Now you have, you, you picked any hammer in the building, and you've got this. Now what, what do you got here? Mini sledge. Mini sledge, how, how big is it? Like a four pound, five something pound like sledge, that. something like that? Okay, now, this is the way that most people at home, if they just have to drive a ground rod, are gonna do it. And you are the burliest dude we know. You are the great mighty Scotsman, so we're gonna give you the hammer. We'll measure this out. We're gonna start the first one three feet off the wall. So we'll just set, come on, set our line. Okay. And we're gonna to wanna to be just, you wanna be about six inches off the building, otherwise we'll hit the footer. All right, three foot, give or take. Go ahead. <laughs> hang on, hang on, we'll, we'll clock you. You ready? We, we've got state-of-the-art technology here. Okay, go. It's a 
good thing our granddaddy was a carpenter and our daddy was a bit of a carpenter, so he knows how to swing a hammer. He does know how to swing a hammer. He even hits what he aims at. Way better than my system. I just aim what I hit. Stop. That is four minutes exactly. So was that fun? I just want you to know, I hate you for being able to do that in only four minutes. That was amazingly fast. Thank you. That was, that was pretty cool. Thank you, sir. All right, now let's, uh, let's give Batman a shot with the slide hammer. We'll get the tape measure. Let's measure it out. Dave, could you hold that there, please? Okay, we're gonna, let me see your stick. Make sure you got the pointy end. All right, that's 10 feet right there. All right, you ready? Right. Now, the way you do this is you put this on top. You lift that up as high as you can. Hold this down here. Keep your hand below the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then like that. And you want it as, as big and fat. And then the idea is to let the machine do the work. Right. Okay. All right, you ready? Ready. Go. I personally think that would greatly benefit from having about a foot of pipe right there, but yeah. yeah. That's four minutes. Gotta remember to cut out about 10 seconds of me giggling. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Batman, hang on, hang on. You're, you're, you're at over four minutes now, so we're just gonna stop there, because that's actually doing worse than the R1, and I think you're gonna have a stroke. So, all right, now let's let's take a look at the uh, the alternatives. Oh, oh, so, no, oh, all right, you wanna, wanna do it? I wanna finish you, what I started. It's, it's, a, it's personal now, isn't it? You feel better now? I feel a lot. All right. All right, so now I'm going to try my system. I'm going to set this down and get my measurement. Dave, if you would, please. Hey, no, that's 10 right there. Line it up somewhat. That looks about right. You got the right end? I think so. The top's looking right up for All right, now I'm going to try my system. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Can I have that, please? All right, now let's, uh, let's time this. Ready? No, I'm just going to get my cord sorted out here. Dave, can you pull that down a little bit? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that helps a lot. Yes. I like having you around. It saves me a lot of ladder work. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go.
48 seconds. <laughs> That is definitely the way to do it. And I want to thank all the people over at the local Hilti store who let us borrow this fabulous machine. Oh, wow, is this cool. All right, let's grab the next stick. So it's obvious that if you have the ability to use a Hilti hammer, this is definitely the way you want to drive your ground rods. So I want to thank all the cool guys at Hilti for donating the hammer. We'll be back in the next episode where we're going to go through the wall and start setting all of our terminations for these to start building the next phase of the ground bus. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. Please remember to rate, comment, and donate. We need your help in order to make this building happen. It's coming along. We're making great progress, and we're getting massive amounts of support. But it takes a lot. So please go to Avalon at thegeekgroup.org, PayPal that address with a donation, a buck, five bucks, whatever works for you. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. I'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.